For digital designs, photo editing, and digital painting, Krita and Adobe Animate are very popular software applications. How to decide between Krita and Adobe Animate? It has been a question that has been pondered for years by graphic designers and artists. There are a number of major players in graphic design, including Krita and Adobe Animate. The use of digital designs, editing of photographs, illustrations, and digital illustrating is very popular. If you're unsure which design to choose, whether you're a beginner or an experienced artist, this video will provide some guidance. Let's start with an overview. Krita is a free and open source painting and graphic design program with extensive features that will help you create amazing artworks easily. There are many programs on this list, but Krita stands out because not only is it a tool for sketching designs, but also has tools for customizing brushes, such as pressure sensitivity and seven curves adjustability. In addition to blending, mirroring, and transforming, this program offers a range of advanced painting tools, such as layering and color mixing. High dynamic range images can be modified, as well as photo manipulation. Video game development and filmmaking have also became popular uses of this technology. It has 9 brush engines and approximately 100 brush types that are included in the system. Krita's Key Features Krita comes with many features, and the following are just a few. First, you have the various brushes. Krita actually includes more than 100 brushes. Additionally, Photoshop brushes can be imported. The images are categorized into ink, digital, painting, and sketches, among others. Creating brush presets for Krita is a breeze with the on-canvas brush editor. The text feature in Krita is functional, but the user interface makes it difficult to use. You cannot directly type text into the editor box. Rather, you must type out everything in a separate panel. A time-consuming task if your work contains a lot of text. The color selector in Krita gives you more control and options over your color choices. A number of features are available, including changing the wheel's shape, optimizing the shade selector, and altering the color patches. CMYK and RGB color management capabilities The ability to display artwork both on paper and on the web with CMYK and RGB is a great asset for artists. Using the pen tool, you can draw straight lines and shapes using Bezier curves. With the Shape tool, it's possible to quickly create a rectangle, circle, or polygon with this tool. A variety of shapes can also be selected. For the workflows, the best way to lay out the panel is to switch between workflows. A timeline and playback panels will be pulled up as soon as the animation panel is opened. By switching to the Big Paint workflow, you'll be able to paint. Workflows are easy to switch between, with layouts that can be customized. There's also support for vector graphics. Files with the SVG extension can be opened in Krita. Vector graphics can be created within the program using the vector layer. Basic vector shapes can be created either with the Bezier tool or the vector tool. For photo editing, Krita can be used to edit images, fix blemishes, add lighting, add filters, and crop pictures. You're able to do non-destructive editing with the layers feature. In addition, layers can be grouped into folders, deleted, and reordered. The Smart Patch tool resolves artwork errors. You can see a timeline to view your animation with Krita's basic animation feature. You can also plan the next frame by using the Onion Skinning feature. Tablet support is available in Krita. In order to draw on tablets, you need to be able to apply different pressures. The system language should be used by Krita automatically. Otherwise, you can choose your own language as primary. As a raster-based editor, Krita does a good job of handling basic doodles and digital art. Krita's learning curve and interface. This program isn't hard to use. A streamlined and intuitive interface enables users to focus on drawing digital images rather than being overwhelmed by buttons and features. You can easily learn how to use Krita as there is a wealth of documentation available. The user manual for Krita can be found online. There are tutorials on using the tools as well as details about how to download and install Krita. Both beginners and advanced users can learn how to use it. Krita comes with documentation on how to use it for users who come from other programs. Having these lessons available to you allows you to skip over concepts you already know when switching software. 
The Krita's tutorials will cover workflows and techniques. You can use Krita to create clear illustrations of your points with GIFs or images. It's straightforward to work directly in the program. Hovering over a tool brings up its name. The interface is organized, with tools and options on the left, color on the top, brush options on the right, and layers on the bottom. The workspace feature lets you go back to the default setup or create a custom one. You won't get lost in the application if you accidentally close a panel or move it. Quick default reverts to their default positions. The Krita team has dedicated themselves to making digital painting apps that are great. A digital artist can easily navigate and use the interface because it is narrowly focused. Understanding the program shouldn't be a problem. How much does Krita cost? Open source painting software, Krita is totally free. A drawing application was created to make digital drawing accessible to everyone. Volunteers have staffed the majority of the software development team and have made the program what it is today by providing code and bug fixes on their own time. But donations can be made on Krita's website if you enjoy the program. The company plans to use donation to hire full-time developers, provide hardware, technical support, and organize travels. Now, let's have a look at the opponent. Adobe Flash software was previously used to create cartoons and animations by drawing characters. The Adobe Animate software has everything you need to generate simple, realistic character animations. They allow you to perform many actions, including walking, running, jumping, talking, and more, by animating their character parts. Nodes or planes are how the program creates movement by allowing different points between them to be connected, and where the animation moves from. With Animate Gallery, you'll see what the professionals use in order to get a better idea of what kind of tools they're using. When you're working on your own animation project, viewing a gallery of examples can prove to be a great way to get ideas and inspiration before you begin. Animation artists create elaborate backgrounds and environments a lot, so looking at a gallery of examples can prove itself to be beneficial. Adobe Animate's Key Features a comprehensive review on Animate here would not be possible. There's a section for every button, tool, and clickable item in Adobe's documentation if you're interested in this sort of thing. I will compare Animate in a few general categories representative of the much larger scope for this program. There's a significant difference in appearance between the Mac and the PC versions of Animate. The first aspect will be assets. One of the key components of a project is its assets. A component in Animate can be a vector image, a bitmap file, or it can be an audio or sound file. All assets for a project are stored on the Library tab under the Properties tab. In addition to working with the other Creative Cloud applications, Animate has been designed to work seamlessly with them. You can easily drag and drop pieces from your storage to the canvas with its integration with Adobe Cloud. Furthermore, you have integrated access to Adobe Stock Graphics, which, depending on your needs, can either be purchased or used in a watermarked format. You can use Photoshop or Illustrator to import graphics you've made ahead of time. A timeline of frames is needed to execute any kind of animation. A timeline is a snapshot of the main stage of an application. There is no limit to how many layers and objects you can add here, nor how many paths you can create for them to travel. Whenever you add an object to a layer, a keyframe is automatically created in the first frame. You can also add your own keyframes by selecting a frame number from the menu bar and inserting it. Symbols also have their own secondary timeline. A symbol can be synchronized with a timeline by adding a tween. On the main stage, double-click these symbols to edit their animations. All but the selected symbols will turn gray and disappear from the canvas. The layers on the main stage are hidden in this view. Double-clicking a layer after selecting it allows you to expand the timeline window. Based on ease presets or your own, an intuitive graph is generated that allows changes to be made. I recommend viewing some Adobe tutorials for an in-depth look at the timeline functionality. For the key tools, as with Adobe applications like Photoshop, Illustrator, and Acrobat, Animate offers a similar tool panel. Over 20 manipulative and drawing tools are included on the main toolbar. Vector graphics are also supported in many of these tutorials, eliminating the need to transfer files between your vector editor and Animate perpetually. In some cases, vector painting brushes are available as well. 
Animation requires a bone tool. As you move from frame to frame, you can edit the limb and body positions using character rigs. Adobe Animate Learning Curve and Interface It's a good place to start if you know Photoshop or Illustrator. Adobe Animate has a user-friendly interface that is easy to use. It's not only possible to find what you're looking for by searching, but it's also created by a huge community. So how much does Adobe Animate cost? The cost of Adobe Animate varies depending on your needs, but generally speaking, it starts at around $99 per year for students or freelancers who need basic animation features and can complete one project with their program each month or less. We hope you found this video useful and informative. Comment below if you think that we've missed something or if you have any other suggestions. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you choose your next favorite tool. Thanks for watching as always and see you next time.